Well, I am up in Hazel Park, Michigan. I'm at Cindy Lou's abode here. We are getting ready to go play our EP release show. So that's Cindy Lou and the Red Heart Royals EP release. Uh, I've been looking forward to this since, uh, I mean, since we finished uh, writing the songs. Um, we recorded the album at uh, Rooftop uh, Studios there in Grand Blank with the wonderful David Roof uh, engineering. It's been a long time coming. And I'm really looking forward to the nice show. Uh, Don Dennison just posted that he's on his way. Uh, he's on drums tonight as John has moved to Florida. Uh, we have Stretch on another guitar, so we actually have two guitar players tonight. I'm really excited. We sort of, uh, we haven't really rehearsed, uh, but we worked, we called each other. We sort of worked some stuff out. I made a video of just sort of outlining some stuff that I'd like to, uh, to have happen. We'll see what happens. Uh, Todd Perkins on bass as usual, uh, the wonderful Cindy Lou on vocals. Uh, it'll be a hot band, you know. We haven't played together since October, uh, but the songs haven't changed any. We've just gotten better, hopefully, on our own right. So, next time you'll see me, we'll be at the New Way in Ferndale. We missed the load-in part because my load-in was really easy. I just had a pedal case, my hard shell case for the amp, my fan, and my double gig bag. So, but we do have the tip jar, an absolute necessity for playing in Detroit that a lot of people tend to overlook. Hey everybody, thank you so much for coming to Yeah. We're so glad to see you guys. Um, I don't know if you guys know my friends here. They are the Gruesome Tusa. Which, if you notice, there's three of them. So it kind of even makes it more fun, correct? Cindy smells lovelier than we actually are. Bert, Todd, Cindy, and whoever's drumming. Don! Don! Don's drumming. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I'm not sure if I know Don, but anyway. I'm a teenage monster. Swamp gas because I'll lose my the, if I don't play it soon enough. Now that Gabe's lips are all warmed up. He's all warmed up and ready to go. So this song actually does have an introduction and I can talk without taking up time. See? Yeah. But so, takes up time. Yeah, this is the one that really does take up time. So in 1966, the Ann Arbor Sheriff's Department was called out for, you know, there's numerous calls coming in to the dispatcher for strange lights in the sky. This is May of 1966, and of course, I let everybody know if you go into your smartphone, and you have your Google, and you type in Ann Arbor UFO incident, you will have all the information that I am giving you right now. So throughout the course of the night... The internet's on computers now. It so is on computers and your smartphone too, believe it or not. So they continue to get these calls throughout the course of the night. Livingston County Sheriff's Department, Oakland County Sheriff's Department all got involved chasing these lights in the sky throughout the three quarters of the counties, if you're familiar with the Washington, you know, Livingston, Oakland area. So anyway, after a whole night of this incident, constant calls to the dispatcher, 
constant confirmation from both civilians and police officers that they're seeing something really crazy. The FBI comes out, and at the end of the week, their conclusion is that everyone had seen nothing more than swamp gas. Check it out. Thank you very much. City News up next.
Cindy Lou and the Red Hot Royals with an I, so I spell my name with an I. Cindy Lou and the Red Hot Royals.
Thank you for that Rose. Thank you so much. Please find our EP on Bandcamp.